Good morning, everybody. It's my day off. I'm still in all blue. When you're a trucker, especially when you own your truck, there's no getting away from it. I gotta go put new front shoes on her today. Getting new steer tires put on. I ordered a few uh, about a week ago. And it's time. My tires on the front, my steers are still legal. But they're getting to that point where they're gonna start attracting attention. We don't want that. So I'm headed into Blumenort to KK Penner. I'm gonna slap a couple of brand new steer tires on it. It's gonna feel so good. Can't wait to smell that fresh rubber. It's the best part. Truck is very dirty on the outside. So I'm hoping. Yeah, patience, buddy, patience. They want to go fast. We're going to see if there's a truck wash available when I'm done. There's two truck washes in Blumenort. There's uh, the PBX truck wash and there's also Blue Water truck wash. They're sort of side by side. They're sort of, they, they both would compare to Blue Beacon. They got guys that come out, wash the truck for you and you know, they do a really good job. We'll see what happens. It's my one day off. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. All right, so we're here. One of these doors is for me. I'm gonna go inside and check in, let them know I'm here, and so they can go find my tires. And uh, we'll get this taken care of. So we're ready for our next trip. These tires are about, I think they quoted me at $678 each. They're Firestones. The Michelins were eight hundred and some dollars each, eight hundred fifty dollars each, or something like that. So I went with a little bit of the cheaper ones, but I didn't go with offshore steer tires. I got Blackhawk offshores on my drives, but for my steers, I stuck with uh, one of the big brands here in North America. So we'll see how they do. I'll let you know. Don't worry. We'll keep up to date with it on the vlogs. My buddy Moses, you guys know him, right? He's got that beautiful, you know, he's got that beautiful Kenworth W nine hundred, right? That white one that he drives. It's beautiful. He's got Firestone drives on his truck. And he's so far got almost 350,000 miles on them. And they're still legal. So that's, that's pretty, that's like over 500,000 kilometers. There we go. Looks different without the lug nut covers on there. Eh? <laughs> I'll leave them off so I can get it retorqued. Very nice. All right, new shoes up front. While I'm in Blumenor here, I'm gonna quickly swing by PBX Truck Service as well. Go we'll say hello to them there. I wanna see if their truck wash is available right now. If not, then we'll do it. I guess down the road, I can always wash it in Mooseman. There's that truck wash there. It's just, that truck wash is on like a dirt lot. So when it's wet outside like this, you get out of the truck wash and you drive right out into the mud. I don't really like that. So we'll see, we'll go talk to the good people here and uh, see if they can get my truck washed real quick. I know their office closes in half an hour. But maybe their truck wash is open later, or maybe they want to quickly sneak me in. So we'll go and talk to them. I know them pretty well. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll let me get the truck wash today. It's just down the street from KK Penner. So my truck service and tires, everything is done literally within a block of each other. And these are the only places that I authorize to work on my truck. It's nice having them all right close to each other all in one place. So this is Peterbilt of Steinbeck. The technicians here would be trained 
specifically to work on Kenworth trucks like mine and Peterbilt. They're the only ones that get to touch my truck. Well, they didn't have time today. So we will find another wash along the road on our trip. Maybe even at the shop if I have a chance there before I leave tomorrow, but not sure if I'll have the time. I'll figure something out. I mean, it's not a perfect world. We're gonna get it washed tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff to get done at home. The wife's waiting for me already, so we will make that into a tomorrow problem. Let today worry about its own problems. That's what I say. Today has enough wor worries to worry about. We'll get her clean. I don't like leaving it dirty, but it's the way the world is sometimes. It's a dirty world. Sorry, old blue. You understand, right? You still love me. Oh, yeah, it still loves me. Love me. Look at that. Look at that. Look of love. I'll be back. Don't worry, I'll be back. I know you hate to see me go, but you love to watch me leave. Diesel, come here. Come here. Come here. Hey, Chevy. What do you think, Diesel? One more project done. So I got the garage cleared out enough that we can get the vehicle in here. Diesel, do you approve? Very nice, man. Holy smoke, you bring it inside, keep it nice and warm. I know, right? Well, let's go back inside. Now, this is all the stuff I have to carry downstairs to the basement. Huh. We have a garage, but it comes at a price. And that price is my back. Let's quickly show you around here. So this is our garage. This stuff all needs to be go gone through yet. We're gonna go through every single container yet and every single box. This is our spare Christmas tree, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Mm. This is stored up here. It's actually quite a bit of space in here. So, turned out all right. Yeah. 
So now Brit can unload Theo and unload groceries and unload whatever else she has in the vehicle into the house without walking over snow and ice in the wintertime. That was the whole point. And there's a lot of space at the back here yet to unload groceries and stuff or whatever else they have in the back or put the dogs in the back. Right, Chevy? Yeah. 